Hello? Hey, girl. Hey, guys. Welcome back. It's your girls, Miss B and Kita. Coming back for episode seven. Episode seven. Episode seven. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. In biblical terms, what seven is? Completion. Oh. Complete. Oh, oh, complete. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> what we talked about last week, just to give them a recap, Kita. We talked about check your mental. And what did we discuss on this check your mental episode six? Uh, episode six, we talked about Bruno Mars and the whole culture appropriate appropriation or appreciation or a uh, uh, culture vulture. And we talked about a little bit about mental awareness within a black community. Yeah, how you know a lot of black people don't do like they don't want to go seek professional help when they're going through certain things. And we kind of listed like you know the the top stressors in the black community that can lead to you know issues in the home and having to think about going to see somebody. You know, and we said the number one was money, financial. Yep, financial. Uh, If your financial status isn't where you want it to be, of course, that's going to, you know, cause you to fill away and, you know, cause you to get down on yourself. And then, you know, the next up is like family issues and, you know, health insurance not having that, which all leads back to financial. So go ahead and check episode six out, y'all. But on this here episode, episode seven, get out of neutral. Yes. Get, get out, out of, neut- of neutral people. Get out of neutral. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? Kita and I was just talking earlier today. Mind you guys, it's Sunday when we record. Um, and we were just saying, what are we going to talk about today? And I just came out of nowhere. I was like, I need to get my motivation up. I was like, wait a minute. There it is. She's like, yeah, we can definitely talk about that. So we want to talk about losing motivation. You know, when we say get out of neutral, think about a car. You can't go nowhere if you're in neutral. Mm-mm. You 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 stagnant. You chill. Right. You need to make moves. So the that energy's thing going. in tra- Hello, it's just. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get a drive. So, right, right. Yes, you can have goals. You know, you can have everything all set. But there's times when you fall out of. You know, I don't know. Fall out of that. Your drive is gone. There you go. I'm like sitting here struggling. I think I'm tired. Well, maybe I ain't got no motivation right now. So this is kind of like a force for me. This is like therapeutic that I can kind of talk about this because this is real for me right now. You know, I always have a bunch of goals on on my plate daily, monthly, weekly, whatever. I have goals. And I just feel like the last two weeks for me, I feel like I lost my motivation. And Kita tell you, I talk to her all the time and I'm like, Why am I so lazy? Why don't I feel like doing anything? Why don't I take advantage of my Saturdays? You know, instead of staying in the house, just sitting here thinking and thinking, why am I not up and moving? So today I got up and moving. Had a good day today. It's Sunday. Praise him. Holla. But, um. Holla, holla, holla. I'm sorry. (laughs) So, you know, have you ever felt like you're stuck or you don't have a drive or any drive to move forward? You have goals in place, but something happens that causes you to, you know, get off track. Uh, Sometimes you need, you know, a quick break, a quick pick you up, pick me up. You know, maybe a road trip, a trip, a talk with Jesus. You know, maybe you got to write in your journal. Maybe you got to tell yourself off. I don't know. Maybe you got to look in the mirror. Uh, You know, sometimes you have too many things on your brain. You know, like me, I'm constantly thinking about stuff. And that's like what I probably need to work on. Stop thinking so much. You know, always having too many decisions to make. So, we just wanted to talk about the losing motivation. What's your take on it, Kita? On your end? Um, sometimes you just gotta. If you're in a space where you feel like you know you had all this drive and you was you know you had you you had good intentions on what you wanted to accomplish, and then all of a sudden things just slow down. Sometimes you have to look back, even even when. Take, for instance, like when you're exercising, right? Me personally, I don't like going to the gym. And the reason why I don't like going to the gym is because if I go to the gym, I can stop anytime (laughs) I want to. I can get off the treadmill when I want to and just go home. But if I go outside and and walk, I ain't running. So, no. If I go outside and walk and I walk and I'm saying my goal is to walk two miles, right? 
if I'm halfway through my two miles, I can't just turn around because if I turn around, it's, it's like, well, that was a waste of time. You might as well keep doing the whole thing and accomplish your goal. Point blank, period. So you need to look at where you at in your in your goal and see if you're halfway there. Don't stop. Because you're going to be mad at yourself. Oh, you're going to be mad. Yeah. I think where I lost my motivation the most is, you know, like you said, exercising. Me not eating like I used to eat. Yeah, I used to eat a lot. I used to be the most greediest person. And now I don't eat as much as I used to. And I now see it on the scale. Like, I'm a slim person. So I ain't got no business not trying to eat. And also not uh, taking advantage of my days off. My Saturday and my Sunday. You know, most Saturdays I'm so burnt out from the week that I don't do anything but sit here and watch this idiot box, the TV. But we gonna get it together, you know. This is like, you know, just a talk it talk it out type of a episode. You know, we can go back and forth bouncing off ideas with each other. Right, right, right. There's got to be something that I can do to get this motivation together. Oh, maybe I got to do a little dance on it. Then, maybe hey, I got to do a little dance bow. on it every morning. Hey, every morning. Bow. Every morning hey, do the dance hey, in the mirror. Hey, 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 get it, 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 get it. That's how I think I'm going to get my motivation together. I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, 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 dance. Hey, I don't know why I just started singing rapping. I don't know why I just started singing rapping. Yo, you are crazy. I know. Absolutely insane. I know, but I'm just trying to get my motivation together. Besides, I'm just trying to get my, you know, motivation together. So if I got a dance scene, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Do it, do it. I don't know. Do it, do it. I I, I think what what helps me get my motivation is, uh, and I think we talked about this uh, in the first Get Yourself Together episode. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, when I see other people doing stuff, I'd be like, mm-hmm. You're not about to sit here and uh, you you're not about to leave me behind. Bump this. <laughs> nope. Well, maybe that's my issue. Maybe there's not enough people doing stuff that right. it's not pushing me to do it. Maybe because I'm the only one that's really out here going all hard, you know, like, and maybe anybody else around me because Keita's in Atlanta. So I can't, we can't really move like we want to move with each other because we're in two different states. You know, right. I can only go off of what she tell me, you know, what we talk about and what I may see on her IG. But if she was here in the state where I'm at or I was down there, I think it would be, you know, easier for me to get it together. Because we would be, like, pretty much working out together. We would be doing so much more together and we would be pushing each other. Right. So it's hard when you don't have your, your, your homie near you, you know, to kind of, like, keep you grounded. So that could That's be one true. thing. You know, like, you always need, like, an accountability partner right. you know, to help you keep staying on track. But, I mean, she does what she does when she t- when she tell me on the phone, girl, get yourself, get your life. Go on and do it. Sometimes Shut up. You, sometimes you got to be like, girl, if you don't calm down, shoot, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, there's times when I be sitting there talking to her, and I'm like, I'm about tired of talking about this same problem. And she don't, she don't never come at me and be like, mm-hmm, you already said that. You already talked about that. So that's what's up. I appreciate it. But I know in the back of her mind, she do say that. <laughs> this chick. <laughs> I let already me tell told you her what to do. <laughs> let me tell you something, man. If I let people, look, I just, sometimes you got to let people talk. And then, and then they'll figure it out for themselves sometimes. I, I can tell you. But then, just like you do me, like, I'm, I'm going to let you know. But you can just do what you want to do anyway. So it don't matter. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay. Uh, man, it's just got to move forward, you know. If it didn't work today, try to change it up. Try try to do something that's right. going to help you get, you know, closer and closer to the next thing. And the but worst yeah. thing you want to and the worst thing you want to do, right? So if you're sitting on an idea, mm-hmm. right? And you know that thing is gold. That thing is gold and that's your that's your golden egg that you're sitting on. And you slack on it. And then months later, a year later, you see somebody come out with the same idea you had. Oh, you gonna be mad? Oh, hey, man, you listen. You gonna be pretty upset. Mm-hmm. It's hey. not a game. Hey, cause I'm gonna tell you, hey, that's your fault. Mm-hmm. You the one who sat mm-hmm. on it. You got mad. You you didn't push it. 
Right. You let it stay. At the, uh, you let it go by the wayside, and you just you didn't care. Right. No good. I'm gonna need you to step up. Step up. I think the I think the hardest thing is not trying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is. That is the hardest thing. Cause I I get to those points, and I'm like, man, I ain't doing this. <laughs> Bump this. I don't feel like doing it. What's the point? You feel like you feel like you can't achieve it. Yeah. Certain. At certain. Depending on what it is. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's no use even of even trying to accomplish this goal for what. Right. Right. I also think because I know me, I'm such a perfectionist, and that's like one of my weaknesses. I'd say. I am a perfectionist. And if it doesn't go the way I see how it's supposed to go in my brain and how I thought about it and kind of outlined the whole thing, I think that's when I lose it, you know. So it makes sense why I feel the way I feel these last few days. But, you know, you girl, she get back up. She's going to start that dance move, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tomorrow Monday, she... she about to be in that mirror. Do that dance, do that dance, do that dance, do that dance. Go, go, go. You so go. crazy. Do that dance, 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 dance. Do that dance, do that dance. Do that dance. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could be a little hard on yourself. I think we both have that trait. Yeah, yeah. And I wanna work on it. You know, that's a goal. <laughs> that's a new goal. I mean, it's a good it's a gift and a curse at the same time because sometimes you have to push yourself. You have to make sure that you ha- you're doing everything correct. Mm-hmm. make sure everything is right but then sometimes it's like you need to leave room for error so at some point in your life you're not going to get yeah. everything right yeah and you just got to get it moving right get it moving just start it if right. i remember when we started the podcast I, I think i was like oh oh no how's it gonna go i'm so nervous ah, ah. all right just do it let's just go right. Like today, you know, we knew we were going to win this. <laughs> we, we knew we were going to win it. All day. Because what, what is the 415? It's phone conversations coming to life. So this is how some of our phone conversations go. We just talk about a whole lot of nothing. And then we'll get to something. And then we back to nothing. Laughing. <laughs> Quoting Friday. <laughs> we're just random. Yeah, random. Be on Twitter like, oh, let me tell you what just, oh snap right 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 girl did you see that oh let me go on there let me see or we be sending each other pictures one ain't gonna get it because her phone jack but i ain't gonna say who phone jack her phone um my phone ain't jacked up thank you <laughs> you better go talk to sprint whatever tell sprint to holler at t-mobile so you can get that game plan hello whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> but you know on the real um Losing a drive, it you know, it happens to people all the time. But it's up to you to switch it up and it's not like, stay there and not stay in neutral. Because you can get really... If you just don't do nothing toward... If you don't, like, try to make, like, one step towards your goal, you're really going to start to get lazy. Right. And you're not... Just like me, not, go, not exercising for, like, a year. I say, yeah, I'm going to go home. Now, mind you, I have a... I have an exercising mat, I have an exercising ball, I have the ab roller, I have free weights, I have a resistance band, I have another resistance band, and I still don't exercise. All I need to do is crunches, some push-ups, what they call it, calisthenics, Mm -hmm. you know, your own body weight, like, I just need to do that. What happens when I get home? Depending on what kind of commute it is from New York City. New York City? How I feel when I get home is, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm pissed off because I was in traffic for how long? Three, up. Oh, now I got to cook. I don't feel like it. Right. So the the good thing to do would be put your food on, go do some crunches. Why the food cooking? Mm-hmm. Go do some squats. Why the food, do, you know, doing this thing? No, I can't even do that. So if I don't start something, start small. Do five crunches. You know, if you can't do 20 in it, just do five. At least you start it. Right. So, and then you have to keep at it. Because I'll start it, and then the next day I won't do it. (laughs) That defeats the whole bourbon. It's like, man, we have to get off this thing. Because I feel like I done, (laughs) and I don't want to get, I don't want to get too lazy with my goals. Because I I accomplished a lot of big ones last year, end of last year. So I feel like I don't have too many 
to accomplish. It's like mm-hmm. more like fun type goals for me, like traveling and, you know, um, that type of stuff. But it's still a goal. You still want to stay focused. You still want to work toward them. You don't want to stay stagnant. You don't want to stay in neutral. You want to drive. You want to get up in that gear. Get the gears growing. You, you. I know one thing. Well, well I'm kind of proud of myself, but, you know, I, I had a couple of days that I kind of fell off. So, I've been trying to go meatless since January 19th was the day I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do meatless. All right. I didn't, say, I didn't say dairy. I said meatless, okay? So, <laughs> so since January 19th, I think from January 19th to today, I've only messed up maybe three, four, t- four times. Hmm. I done had, but since then, I have got back on it and was like, no, I don't want no meat. Like, I tried to eat meat and I'm like, oh, that's nasty. I don't want it. Mm. So today I was like, okay, now you need to incorporate some movement. So I went outside and and walked before we uh, recorded today. Uh-huh. So I was like, I was like, let me get myself together, cause you know I see that stomach coming down a little bit, you know what I'm talking about, and you know that's yeah. a little bit motivation, you know what I'm talking about. Uh. Clap, 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 clap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So you know I'm just trying to do a little, trying to get myself together. Yeah, yeah. While I'm, while I'm doing this meatless diet, which is right. hard. It's not hard. It's just the fact that you got to come up with recipes. That's mm. the thing. That's because mm-hmm. you don't want to get boring. With the same thing over and over again. Right. So That's today true. I bought me some jackfruit. Some what? Jackfruit. For the it's people that who big, don't know that. That big green looking thing with the little, like it got. Um, it, it looked like an alligator back. <laughs> <laughs> she said an alligator back. Man, stop it. I'm done. Yeah, if you want to say it look like an alligator back, it look like an alligator back. But yeah. <laughs> some jackfruit so my plan was um i bought some dry rub and some vegetable broth and some barbecue sauce because i'm gonna make some pulled pork not pulled pork but you know like pulled pork faux pork that's what i'm gonna do make a faux pork sandwich with some jackfruit or i can make some chicken meat you said you ain't eating meat but you said chicken (laughs) oh i mean it's faux chicken Oh, curry chicken, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing. You Oh, you talking about F-A-U-X? Fo, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That sounds like faux chicken. What kind of? What? Yeah. Okay. The fake so, stuff. Hey, so some tofu looking stuff like that? No, 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 no. Well, I have some of that in the freezer too. It's called, it's a product called corn. And it's, it's mm. actually good as long as you season it right. Season <clears> it real good. Mm-hmm. I had wow. some spaghetti the other day with some corn product. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. But Kamari, she's starting. Kamari didn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, at least you start, you know, you, you started something, you know, and you're working toward continuing to stay on track. So that's always good. You just, you know, like I know when I fall out of or fall off track. I know it. Mm-hmm. My attitude get funky, you know. Right. I start like getting down on myself. I start like I don't want to say spazzing, but I start thinking about a lot of stuff. So that's how I know when I kind of lost my way for a second, and I just gotta get on back, get on back. Maybe I gotta write in my little journal. Or, or is it that do you need a challenge? Yep. Yep. Because I, I feel be, like I'm getting bored easily. Because I feel like, I feel like you've accomplished right majority of the things you needed to accomplish mm-hmm. and that you may need a challenge. You may need something right. to challenge you right quick. Yeah. That's what I think it is. Because mm-hmm. I'm telling you, after the stuff that we talked about today, <laughs> and I was already thinking like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to be on my way out. <laughs> so what I'm going to do next, girl? If y'all can see her face, because we over here on Hangout. 
So I'm like, what I'm going to do next, girl? I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like a grown up now. All right. Yes. So you're, I think, I think you hit it. I I think you hit it right on the, um, on the, the nose. Right. You said, I may not be challenged enough, which makes me feel like I lost motivation, but it's not me losing motivation. Look at this episode done help me. See? Hey, I'm here. That's why I'm your BFF. You you dig what I'm talking about? Hey. Who told you you was my BFF? Hmm. I did. (laughs) Oh, snap. (laughs) I guess, I guess that's you. I guess, I guess you that one. I mean, that's what but, the title of the of the four one five said. BFF <laughs> conversations coming to life. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it do say that stuff, you know. But like, man, that kind of okay. So I'm gonna have to maybe find a new goal, right? And I kind of have one that is so I've been kind of running away from this goal. And that's to understand the stock market. Like, that is one of the hardest ones I could ever put on me. And I've been running from it. So that one is probably going to be the next thing that I'm going to try and tackle as I write it down in my notebook right now. Tackle the stock market. Yeah. The stock market can become your friend. I want to understand the ins and outs. I want to be able to be like, you know what? So-and-so's business not doing that good. Let me get on out of here. Yeah, like, I want to be able to make moves. I want to be like, on that. Um, what's the what's the show? The Money Guy, whatever his name is. When they're like, you know, they can see those numbers and they just know everything. I want to know all of that. Oops, I dropped my pen. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, she want to be. She want to. She want to come into conversations with me. Kita, did you see that the S and P can went down five points today? Up oh, the. F- <laughs> Yeah, oh, I want to comment. The Dow wanna... is up 20 points today. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm that. like, what? What does that even mean? I want to know all of that stuff. You know, I'm in New York City. You know, I've been to Wall Street. I've seen, you know, the outside of New York Stock Exchange, but it would be nice to actually be all up in there. But I know that's only for uh, certain folks that can get in there. But um, I think that would be my new challenge to understand the stock market. It's, it's um, I know... I know uh, the basics of the start of the stock market. Like I can, you know, look at the ticker as it's going through the screen, of the bottom of the screen on uh, what channel is that? Bloom, Bloomberg, I guess. I'm guessing that's the channel. Watching each company go by. Oh, Walmart's up right now at five points. Amazon's mm-hmm. up at two points. Oh, they're going yeah. in for They're going in at $50 a share. Okay, I see that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> But to know, like, uh, to get into the the meat of it, oh, they're um, they're um, you might need to, you might need to sell. What sell? I don't want to sell today. What you mean? If you don't, you're gonna miss it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's gonna be like the thing. But this was episode seven. Just quick convos about losing motivation, trying to get out of neutral. I don't know if this helps somebody, but it helped me. So I think I done, I done did what I needed to do. Yeah, child. So appreciate you, Kita. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be stuck in driving a stick shift in neutral on that on that hill. You're going to go <laughs> falling back. <laughs> Get on and drive. Episode 7. Get out of right. neutral. Get out of neutral, baby. It's your girls. Miss B and Kita. You already know. Find us on Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, uh, Spotify. IT. Spotify and go see our uh, Instagram page, the four one five pod. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you want to talk about something, want to let us know what you want us to talk about, hit us on our email at the four one five pod at gmail dot com. Yes, and we shall, child. y'all shall be hearing us in another week. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>